Now this is a conundrum. Perchance you've heard. The coronation is soon to be held, it seems. The Sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No, indeed. It is a weight off my heart to think that our fair Vermund shall once again be governed by a true ruler. Oh, you wouldn't want to make the others jealous now. Wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here. All this merrymaking is a joy to behold. Mm. Why, no. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. We shed our faces at the door, so too our cares. Is this fast truly to the Sovereign's taste? I find it liberating to hide my face for a time. Might as well make merry while the wine flows. I suppose I'll avail myself of the victuals. I shan't let anything spoil my evening. Might as well make merry while the wine flows. I shan't let anything spoil my... I find it... I do wonder who's behind the mask. All this revelry in war's wake, tisn't right. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. I'm frightfully busy. No time for idle chatter. Such cheap drink. I hear the coronation is to be held anon. Good thing, too. I long to see the back of this crooked age of proxies. Of course, the matter of attendance. You see, it beggars, but for instance, if you, by some miracle... What is it? Has something happened? Nah, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scale all you like. In here. I've been here the whole time. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for 
this, perchance. Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another, Lord Phasus? That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is naught but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Come see me in my bordelry. I'll instruct my attendants. Since I heard a good story. A fine spot to take my mind off my tracks. Yeah, I'm strong and fine. I'm not sure. All I've got left. As a reward for your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. Twits, you will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made 
to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely is their aim? There is much we ought.